trip to Alaska in um, July 2011. I noticed that he was not really in the picture. And I started thinking about all the things that had happened before that that had concerned me as well. And by the time we got back, I knew that we needed to see a doctor. They did a CAT scan and they noticed some, some changes in that and they had diagnosed him with Alzheimer's. 2012 brought the biggest changes when he stopped working his part-time job and they let him go from his position on the hockey team. And then in a, a couple of months after that, he lost his driver's license because we had to have him test it. And um, that, that, was a big, that was a big trauma for him. That really took his independence away. He got down, you know, he was a bit depressed and anxious and he had to drive with me, which was different because he was always the driver. That was difficult for him. I'm sure he rode with his right foot on the brake most of the time. This imaginary brake. Well, we had a little, a little chat about it, and I, he said he knew that something was wrong, but I guess he just didn't want to talk about it, you know. But it all, it all happened very fast. I found that you would get used to a certain pattern, and. Uh, all of a sudden one day that pattern would change so then you were starting to get used to something different. It was an ongoing education. People probably realized I needed a bit more help more than I did and started suggesting things and we were lucky to get into the day center like right away. We didn't have to wait on a waiting list and so I guess he was, uh, he came here for about three years. It was wonderful. <laughs> so I, I was able to drop him off knowing that he was going to be taken care of and, and then I got to leave and have a few hours on my own to do the things that I didn't always get a chance to do, having to take care of Gary. I really can't name anybody in particular because I would say it to all of them. They were absolutely wonderful. They. Um, they're so caring and loving, and I, I, I couldn't thank them enough. You know, they, they, they gave, I had the trust that they would take care of Gary when I, was, when I wasn't here, and um, I knew he was gonna be okay. And they're, to name somebody over somebody else would not be fair because they, they work as a, a family here, and they take care of each other and, and the people 